how to market original music online in 2017. What's up music lovers? My name is Kev Rowe and I'm a working singer songwriter and I've learned a lot about marketing original music and art online. So mostly I'm, I'm doing this as a Patreon video because they're a pretty important player in my equation at this point and I'll talk about that at the end of this video. More importantly, marketing original music online or original art, original content in general is really hard work and you have to be patient it's difficult and there are very little growth hacks to do it so what i've done is i've put together a kind of cycle and it's a three step cycle and i'm going to talk about each one the first step in marketing original music is developing content original content so it's shareable content that you can publish to your fan base that they digest and share it with other people. So if it's really, really good original content, it gets shared and you pick up exposure. So step one is content. Step two, and I'm skipping a lot of little steps here, would be monetize. So step two is monetize. You have to figure out models for bringing in an income to support the content that you're you're publishing especially if this content takes a long time and effort to create so step one is content step two is monetize and step three is reinvest this is the one that nobody likes <laughs> so these three uh steps are really important and you go through the cycle over and over and over again getting bigger and bigger and bigger in a concentric circle very similar to how booking agents in the music world work a small local audience then go regional then go regional more and then go national it's a very similar process in growing original fan bases online let me talk more specifically about each step so content these are on the social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all these platforms, you can publish your original content. Those are the platforms to do it. Monetization, step number two. Lots of things have, have come up that have given original content creators the ability to monetize. Kickstarter, Pledge Music, Indiegogo, those are crowdfunding platforms but also iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby, alternative revenue streams, and for me, most importantly now, Patreon, because it's sustainable income and it comes every month. That's what you need, something to pay your rent, something to pay the electric bill, something to pay, regularly sustain you as a working artist. Step number three, reinvestment. This is the tricky part, but almost the most important part to scaling up your growth. Once you have some momentum in these original fan bases, you need to scale up that growth. How do you do that? You take the money you're learning, you're getting in step two, the monetization phase, taking a percentage of that money and reinvesting it into growing your fan base. How do you do that? Facebook advertising and or Google AdWords. But Facebook advertising is by far the best investment for an original content creator to get their message out by paying to do it. Now, the beautiful thing about Facebook advertising is it's two things. You've got great content and audiences, target audiences. The better you become at marketing your quality content to the target audience that wants to digest that content, the lower the prices go. So I've become an expert in Facebook advertising. I've been doing this since 2010. Now I have 42,000 followers on Facebook and a 10,000 person email list and all of it has come from Facebook advertising, 
and Google AdWords and learning how to market my music for the smallest amount of money to the largest amount of people who care. So those are the three steps. Develop content on social media platforms, monetize on crowdfunding platforms, reinvest in Google or reinvest in Facebook advertising, Google AdWords, and repeat the cycle over and over again. Growing that concentric circle, having sustainability, making your own original art. It takes a lot of time. You got to be patient. I'm talking years, one year, five years, 10 years. It takes a lot of time, but hey, if you love what you're doing, what would you rather be doing? Making cover videos? I don't think so. Um, have reasonable expectations, love your fans, and you'll have sustainability with this cycle. Just follow the three steps over and over again. Now, Facebook advertising is really complex. So if you need help, hire me to do it. I have a package in my Patreon reward packages right now. You can hire me to be your marketing consultant. I'll do your Facebook advertising. The other option is that you can join my $5 a month reward on Patreon and I'll add you to the Musicians Club, which is a closed Facebook group for musicians where we share marketing and advertising tips. So that's where I'm going to have um, like-minded people talking about advertising and marketing. Advertising and marketing is kind of the key to original material. You need to learn it or hire someone else to do it for you. That's the only way. Now, I know there are some people out there be like, oh man, that's a bummer. I gotta pay to get a million views? Yeah, what do you think that like in the 80s and 90s, these record labels paid to get exposure? Exposure has always cost money. Like. Just because social media platforms show up doesn't mean you're entitled to have everybody see your stuff for free. It takes reinvestment. You need a business model. Content, monetize, reinvest in advertising. It's the best way. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.